But let, let's talk about this. So on your website, okay. Reasonable Faith, um, because I do do my research, uh, I found you gave three justifications for this first yes. premise, reminding the, the listeners the first premise is everything that begins to exist has a cause. Now, the three justifications you give with a bit of explanation, but just the, just the first line is firstly, that something cannot come from nothing. Secondly, that if something can come from nothing, then it is inexplicable why just anything and everything doesn't come into existence from nothing or come into being from nothing. And the third point is, and I quote, common experience and scientific evidence confirm the truth of premise one. What kind of common experience are you talking about when, when you say that? Everyday experience, scientific experience, we always look for causes of events. That's the whole project of science. Uh, and we never come across um, things coming into being uncaused. Now, immediately people will think about quantum indeterminacy, uh, that there seem to be events that on at least the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics are uncaused. But um, two things here need to be said. The argument is very carefully worded. Uh, it does not say every event has a cause. It says everything that begins to exist has a cause. Right. So the argument is quite consistent with quantum indeterminacy and there being uncaused events. What it says is that there can't be things, substances that come into being without a cause. And then the second thing that I would say is that the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum indeterminacy is by no means the only or the most plausible interpretation of quantum mechanics. There are at least 10 different physical interpretations of the equations of quantum mechanics, and some of these are as fully deterministic as uh, non-quantum right. theory, so that it's not a proven counterexample in any case.